What is going on guys, it's Skills here, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. Today we're going to show you how to unlock the Operator Zane. He is probably the most difficult Operator to unlock because you need to do many different things to unlock him. Um, today we're going to be talking about what you need to do and also briefly how you're going to unlock it. This video will also have links to other videos that will benefit you even more in regards to how to unlock him fully. Um, but as you can see, he looks pretty damn badass here. Um, he is from the Republic of Nigeria, and he's got a wee bit of background history on him there as well. So if you're interested in checking that out, feel free to pause the video, uh, or you can even check it out on your own game. Um, but as I say, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button in advance. We're going to have lots of different Modern Warfare videos on the channel, helping you unlock different characters on the game. So for this particular character, you need to get yourself over to co-op. Um, you need to do quite a few different missions to unlock um, Zane. So you might have noticed uh, at the time of recording this video, there's quite a lot of different spec op modes now. Um, fortunately for you, you don't need to do them all. It's only the top four. So all the Verdansk uh, missions you need to do. So that is Headhunter, Kulvada, uh, and we've also got uh, Paladin and also Crosswind. So you just need to do these four missions and uh, you will unlock Zane. Um, now, obviously that's how you unlock them, but if you want some more guides and strats, now we're gonna get it now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty. So the first thing you need to do is set up your loadout for spec ops. I use the same loadout uh, for all the spec op missions. Um, so as you can see here uh, we've got a nice big light machine gun with lots of attachments. Feel free to pause the video if you want to check out all the attachments I use here. Um, but yeah, the reason you want to go for a light machine gun is you want to have as many bullets as possible to fire, keeping out as many enemies as possible. Um, the bigger uh, your kind of ammunition box, the better. Um, it just means you don't need to reload as much. Obviously, when you do need to reload, it's going to take some time. Um, but it's still the best thing to do when you're swarmed by loads of enemies. The second thing here you can see is a shield. This is vital for when you need to um, defend certain areas, etc. Um, it also kind of helps your teammates spawn in, but we'll talk about that in a wee second. Um, and also we've got your perks as well, so overkill, allowing us to have both those uh, weapons. Um, and kill chain, obviously the more enemies we kill, um, the, it allows us to get our roll back quicker and again we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I've also got um, the mines which is very helpful, we have the shrapnel which means I can place two mines. Um, the smoke grenade isn't a big deal um, on that one, that one's more down to your preference. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll move on to munitions, this is basically the equivalent of kill streaks, but on the co-op mode. Um, now on this you'll have several missions where you need to defend certain areas, so you're always going to need to have a sentry gun. Um, as you can see at top left in blue, there is points. Now you might need to play a couple and fail a, f a couple times to get more points. Um, as you can see the sentry gun is 500 points. There's also other things like you saw there, the juggernaut, etc. They cost a lot more but they are very useful. Um, and I also recommend having a cruise missile as well because you are going to come against some heavy enemies like a juggernaut or um, a helicopter. So it's very useful to have those as well. Um, for the third munition you can have ammo but that's free so don't go into too much detail in regards to that. The next thing we need to talk about is the role select. Always click medic. All the other roles are pretty pointless. Medic is the most useful as it allows you to pick up your downed teammates from afar. Um, so say you've got three of your teammates down at the same time. Um, you use the special ability and they all rise from the dead um, and they pick themselves up. So that's very helpful. When I say rise from the dead, they don't actually rise from the dead. They just revive themselves, just making that clear. But yeah, guys, there's going to be annotations on the screen that will show you all these different uh, guides. I've done a guide for each one of these for dance missions. Um, so if you want to go into more detail of the strategies and the guides for each one, then that will be here on the channel. And it's also on this screen as well, which you can check out. As I say, it's just going to run through now to the end of the video, but I do appreciate you guys watching. As I say, annotations on the screen. Um, for each of these missions you do, you will unlock an operator as well. And once you've done all four of the Verdansk missions, you will unlock this sick-ass character, Zane. But yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.